Welcome back guys, JC here, and here's how to power your Seriously Dodo Fly Controller. It's actually very simple, uh, but I'm making this video anyway because I'm going to give you some extra tips and tricks uh, to help you keep from accidentally frying it or anything like that. The wonderful thing about the Dodo Fly Controller is it has a built-in voltage regulator. So you can apply the full voltage of your battery to the Fly Controller and it will actually step the voltage down to 5 volts to uh, power the fly controller and all the accessories connected to it. We will see here there are two pins right next to the USB. This one has a positive and this one has a negative. So you will just uh, wire your power to it in that order. To do this I'm just going to take two pieces of scrap wire, nothing special about it, and solder these on to those two pins. Okay there we go have my positive closest to the USB, negative closest to the corner. Now for the other end of the wires, you just want to place this somewhere on your PDB where it's getting the full voltage of your battery. Uh, meaning that you can put these wires directly on your battery leads or any of these pads where your ESC main power and ground wires go. The only place you don't want to put these wires is uh, somewhere where there would be like a voltage regulator. Uh, for example, I have a 5 volt and 12 volt regulators here, uh, so you would not want to use those. Where on most other fly controllers that don't have the built in voltage regulator, you would want to uh, use a 5 volt regulator. Okay, I just put the other ends right on top of the battery leads, uh, but like I said, you can put it anywhere you want really. Now, once we plug in a LiPo battery, that is going to power the fly controller. It will also power other devices connected to it. So for example, um, if we put this on the 5 volt pin that our receiver goes to, we will see that it will give our receiver 5 volts. It will also produce 5 volts on this pin here, and 3.3 volts on this pin as well as this pin. So there's the 5 volt pin, here's a 3.3 volt, and here is the other 3.3 volt. Now here's the important thing to know. Not only is it producing 5 volts on these pins as well as 3.3 volts on other pins, but also all of these middle pins on your output pins are also going to be producing 5 volts. So you can see here every single one of them is producing 5 volts. And this is important to know and understand because uh, you have two different types of ESCs, linear and also opto. Opto ESCs have these two small wires coming from them, a signal and a ground. They don't produce any power. Um, they receive power, but they don't have that built-in back that also produces 5 volts, which you can use to power other fly controllers through the output pins. Uh, say like a NACE32 and uh, stuff like that. Basically any fly controller that does not have a built-in voltage regulator. Now linear ESCs have three of these small wires coming from them and these have the built-in back so they will receive power from the PDB but they will also produce 5 volts coming from the small red wire. If you have linear ESCs with these three wires you do not want to use that middle red wire on these output pins. Uh, so you, I mean, you can still use the ESCs, just cut that red uh, power wire out completely or desolder it, something like that. But you do not want all three on these pins. You only want ground and signal. The middle pins you will not use because there's 5 volts coming out here, there would be 5 volts going in from here and that's going to fry something. And just to reiterate with Opto ESCs, all you have is signal and ground anyway so there's no wire to remove. It's already gone. And just one more thing I want to touch on. The next thing you need to know is this voltage regulator is rated for 0.5 amps or half an amp. So uh, you want to add up how much current all of the devices connected are using and make sure it's not going over half of an amp 
meaning your receiver, your on-screen display, uh, maybe GPS, uh, anything that you add into this, you do not want to go over a half an amp. And the last thing, if you plug in a USB cable and you go into beta flight, you'll see that it's already showing the full voltage of your battery. Other flight controllers that don't have the built-in voltage regulator, they will have additional pins, uh, the VBAT pins, and you have to wire in extra wires just to get the full voltage of your battery and uh, just a voltage reading at all in beta flight, which you know translates to your on-screen displays and telemetry. But with a Dodo, it's already done for you. Uh, it can see the voltage of the battery from uh, these two wires that you use to power it. So there's no additional steps needed to get voltage in uh, your on-screen display and telemetry. But that pretty much does it guys. So I will leave you a link to my Dodo playlist in the top right of your screen and description below. Uh, check that out for other helpful videos and I will see you there.